Hey guys, this is a U-Perfect 17.3 inch monitor. And it's just a panel, it's kind of like a, like a tablet. This company did a really nice job on the design and um, I'm really liking it so far. I've just had it for like two days to check it out. And um, I'll show you what, I, when I started looking at these here, um, this one was $169 on eBay, as you can see here. And on Amazon, they have the same monitor, but look at that price difference. So it's like 300 bucks. And then there's, there's other variants of it. Um, there's some people on Amazon and eBay that will actually buy the U-Perfect monitors, but then sell them under their name. So. I kind of wanted to go direct to the manufacturer, or I guess I'd call it the distributor in the U.S. because these are just China products that they're importing directly into California. And um, what I was going to show you is some of the... So this one I'm going to show you here has this really nice kind of rubberized fake leather feel protector stand combination, and it's a magnetic back that just sticks to the back of that aluminum frame monitor and so that this one I'm reviewing is is this one and if you want to get the same one then that's kind of what you're going to look for in these pictures as you probably probably will come across you know like a dozen or so different offerings and I'll show you some of the other ones um, like here's another one and if you don't really care for that leather stand there's other ones like this one has a kickstand on it I think it's the same panel, if not the same manufacturer, and they might just have their slight variations on the actual trim of how the frame is. And, you know, it's pretty much all the same specs. This one in particular is a little more money. Um, here's another one. Uh, actually, that's the same. This is the same one. And let's see. But as you can see, there's there's different ones here. This is a, this one I'm showing you here is, is a 1080p. There's other ones that are a full 4K resolution, and of course those will demand more money. And there's also smaller sizes, so you can go down to the 15.6 inch sizes and the 13 inch sizes. I actually had originally ordered the 15.6 inch and was so disappointed when I got it in, uh, the speakers would not work. And I tried everything, I talked with their tech support, and you know I plugged in multiple sources, I verified with using the headphone jack that the audio was coming through because it was coming through to my headphones but when you unplug the headphones it, the speakers never kick in they never kick in initially even upon complete power cycling of it so I had to send it back get a refund but I liked the design so much I said I'm gonna I was gonna order another one and then I decided I think I'm gonna spend the extra money to get the 17 inch so what I like about this um, is just the packaging. They did a really nice job um, on the lid. It's really it's well padded. They have a nice foam, foam layer here to protect it from the shipment. And then in addition to that foam, it's of course wrapped in its own leather case here, which it just folds like this. And very easy to just pick up and go. And it weighs like right at about at two pounds. And, um, and it, this top part here is like a magnet, so you can just kind of peel that off if you want to just have it separate. And there's your uh, the back for your visa mount if you want to put it on a stand and have it be like a monitor or maybe an arm, swing arm, or that can articulate to your exact position. They do have the uh, markings on the back for the menus side buttons which I'll get to here in a minute so you don't have to have the manual with you to know which outlets the, each of those are anyway it's a nice brushed aluminum um, very nice feel to it very sturdy um, I thought it was a little too thick for what it could have been you know you compare this thickness here to like my laptop and that's like razor thin you know, 17-inch monitor on my laptop, and it's like, you know, you know, this monitor, this laptop is a glass touchscreen, so maybe that's a little different. But they decided to make it a little more 
thicker, I guess, to house the electronics and the, and the speaker speakers, which we'll get to here in a minute. Okay, let me put this back. Magnet there. Lift it back up. And then it can swing out, as you can see here, on these two grooves. It'll, it'll swing out anywhere. I mean, the, this is kind of rub, a rubbery, rubbery feel to it. it, so kind of grippy. It's not super grippy, but it's, it is grippy. And so it, it can kind of stay at any angle, but it does provide those little grooves to help really anchor it down there, depending on the angle you have it. Um, as far, I've, had, I've run it for many hours, and it's like zero heat. So um, I have put a meter on it here. And with it turned off, it's kind of funny. It's running a little bit of juice, I guess, just to feel that it's got a monitor for the on-off switch. And um, it's powered up here. Now what I've done here is I've uh, hooked this up for with a Roku so I can get video to it. And here in a minute, I'll actually also hook it up to my laptop through the C port to demonstrate that. We'll put a nice nature scene on there to look at it. Um, what I like about this is the on off button is just hold it, I think for a second or two, power it on, there it is, powers right up. And it's getting this uh, screensaver from the Roku right now, so it's doing its thing. And I hope the lighting in this room is okay. What I really like about this is it is pretty bright and you can change the brightness level. And I found that I'm typically in a well-lit room. You want it between 80 and 100%. Maybe in a dimly lit room, you could let it come down a little bit. Um, what I really like about this monitor, again, compared to some of the other ones I've seen just the pictures of, and the one, the 15.6 inch I had for a couple days just to try it out, it had multiple buttons here. And the whole menu system, as you've known, on, on some monitors, just regular computer monitors, they have a whole sequence of buttons and you have to know how to navigate the on-screen menu by pressing and holding and moving to the next, 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 enter, back, out. And it's, you know, you can figure it out, but it's kind of takes a little head scratching to know how to work it. And the 15.6 inch monitor to control the volume was like that. You had four buttons here and you didn't really know which one was the volume button. and I just didn't like it. It's just kind of like, um, you know, I didn't want to have to like teach my wife how to use the on the side buttons and that it's like programming an electronic gadget every time you wanted to just punch the volume up or down a little bit. So the goal of me having this is for my wife to take it to her place of work where she can watch movies and TV just by doing streaming with the Roku device. And, um, but I will also demonstrate it as a secondary monitor to the laptop over there. Anyway, all this to say this, this button right here is, this is on or off, and this button is volume knob. It's, a, it's kind of a spring-loaded rotary dial. You push it up, and get it in the view here. You push it up, and it knows that you're wanting to adjust the volume up or down. And you just, you just shove this up or down once the volume on screen volume graphic is shown. And that's down, down. Okay, if you wait, I think five seconds, that menu will disappear. And if you shove it down first, down, the brightness menu comes up. And then you can shove it up and down to control the brightness. So that's max brightness there. I'll just have you decide. I mean, there it's getting kind of dim in this br brightly lit room right about there. And of course the camera is just, you know, brightening itself up to capture it. But you can go all the way down to, I mean, I, I'm having trouble seeing it with my eyes, but I look at the camera screen and it's all there. So it's kind of weird to show you this, but I'll brighten it back up. I'll punch it to 100% for rest of this and so that's how that works now this is a micro USB connector and the manual um, 
shows it as H here as a micro USB port and I just don't it as you can read there it tells it what it is and I don't know really what that means for how I would ever use it it's to hook up a keyboard and a mouse and I'm like not sure what that does for a panel that's not a computer anyway that's it that needs some more investigation okay so as in the diagram that's the volume button I just showed you the rotary dial to do the menu selection and then that weird micro USB port over here on the right side we got the PD port so the topmost one here is this USB-C and it connects this is the, this cable is included with the monitor and the power supply is also and as you can see here it's burning about 8 watts so it really just doesn't generate any heat I mean, I never felt it get hot anywhere, not in any spot on the back or anything. So really no heat and, uh, of course, no sound. No, There's no cooling fans or anything, so it's really great. Okay, so the other ports are... Let's see here. Get this camera. Okay, it has a power LED to let you know it's on. And then this is the audio jack. And a uh, quick note on that, so if, well, I'm going to demonstrate the speakers here in a minute, but if you wanted something with a little more punch, a little more bass, a little more volume, you could get something like one of these like little Oons portable speakers. And, um, you know, it has, you can connect it here with the audio jack here and one of these cables. And you could kind of shove it like right just inside this little opening just to have it hidden if you wanted to. Or there's also like speaker bars and stuff you could shove in there. Again, if you wanted to get the clutter out of the way. But I found these speakers to be okay. Um, they're two watts, which isn't great, but it's about the same as most laptops have. This laptop has two watt speakers in it and you can kind of crank it and, you know, it's loud, but if, you know, five people are in the room talking or doing their whatever and, or the TV or the wash dishwasher, washer, dryer is going it it may be a little struggle to hear it um okay so oh, let me finish the ports here first okay so i think these holes originally were for some speaker outlets but i don't know i think the speakers are actually in the bottom i don't see any openings for them so those maybe those are the speakers we'll find it here in a minute okay so uh c port this is to hook this one is to hook the, uh, the computer up to, and they include a, another C to C cable here to hook up a laptop, which we'll do here in a minute. They also include this HDMI to HDMI cable, so if you were to plug in your laptop, if you didn't have a C port docking kind of connector, like the, most of the... Laptops in the last two-ish years, maybe a little more, have that. If you have the old-style laptop that only has the HDMI out, then that you can use that cable to get you from your HDMI out to the HDMI in here to get you your video signal for your secondary monitor on that laptop. And if you had a smaller laptop with, you know, just like a 12 or 13-inch screen, of course, this, this would be a nice little upgrade. And in addition to being the secondary monitor, or sometimes I guess some businesses use it to have the secondary monitor face the customer and mimic the screen. And then they have this micro HDMI port here, which I've never used one of those or needed one because I've always just used that standard HDMI connector. Anyway, they describe it all here. It comes with these three cables, which I just went over. And that's that power adapter, three amps, but of course, sips like a bird. And let's see, okay, so let's just play something here. Home, Pluto TV. Okay, weather shown here on this weather channel. Dakota, the average high is 32. We have to kind of pinch our 
ourselves and remind ourselves. And I'll hit the volume control here. thing I did I forgot to mention is um, this button besides shoving it up and down you can push it in to get to your on-screen menu so if I push it in it'll bring up that menu and of course now you can use this little I don't know what you call the joystick wheel kind of thing you can manipulate it all over the place to get to all your settings and um, I haven't really played with anything in there yet but it's pretty typical for most monitors Okay, um, what else? See, yeah, about two pounds and collapses down with that nice faux leather rubberized stand. That's nice. Now what I'll do is um, I'll unplug everything. I'm going to unplug the Roku. Okay. And I'm going to unplug the power. Off it goes. Now I'm going to plug in here. And plug it into the laptop. Okay. And it should supply the power and maybe it doesn't. Let's see. I don't know if it doesn't power. Okay, maybe I still need the power. I thought my. Uh... Let me try it just on the top one. Oh, I probably have to turn it on. Okay, so let me put it back here. Okay, it's in there. Now I'll power it on. Okay, so I will need power. Can we add the power? Okay, now the laptop is seeing that monitor, figuring it out. And the default, of course, is to duplicate the display. And I can... Uh, I can tell Windows to like change it to extended. And now I have two monitors. It's one big desktop, so I can uh, be doing this, and then I could like grab this tab in YouTube, drag it over to the other monitor, and I can play this uh, Play this YouTube video, nature scene here. Maximize it.
Okay, let's quiet down a little more. Go up and then down. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Um, I really like it. Um, it's a small package. It's not crazy money, especially when you buy it directly from them on eBay versus maybe over Amazon. Now, Amazon will give you the, of course, if you're a Prime member, Amazon will let you buy it, get it maybe the same day or next day delivery and easy to return. Um, me buying it direct, I think I got this monitor in three days from California to Texas, so not bad. And um, again, they worked with me on that first monitor, a little tech support, gave me some things to try, and I ended up actually returning it. And um, they have the tracking on it, and they are going to refund me the money as soon as they show a reception of it. So I hope this helps you guys. I mean, you know... When you're looking at the different monitors, I don't know if this exact one will be available by the time you finally watch my little review here, but consider you know what you want to do as far as complexity here. You might be forced to like just go with one because it was the only one available at the price range you were looking at, so you may not really have these options. But you know if it's a deal killer for you to have easy access to the buttons, um, then that might be something you want to consider. Um, consider the uh, you know, if you are going to tote it around in a briefcase to bring with you in a business situation or laptop, so you have dual monitors, um, you know, consider that this padding is kind of a big benefit compared to some of those other ones that just have like a little kickstand in the back to hold it up. You know, you'll then, if you buy one of those, then you'll also have to buy some kind of padding that when you shove it in your briefcase, if there's any vibration or knocks, that it won't scratch the screen. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I hope this guy this helps you. Maybe make your decision. And um, again, there, I, and I think there's also monitors you can find that don't have built-in speakers. So, uh, and there's a few monitors I think that will have like the better than two watts. It might have a five watt speaker system. Very hard to find those. I remember. As I went through lots and lots of monitors, I did see that on one brand, but I didn't like all the other features of that monitor at that time. This was the one I really liked. I honed in on it. I like the coloring. I like the frame. I like the quality of the build. Um, I, as you read reviews, um, people will say it didn't work. Then broke. Well, I believe it. It happened to me on that 15.6 inch screen, and I did have to return it. But you know, in these days, Amazon, eBay, it's all easy returns if you have issues. Um, you know, if, it, if it's critical to you to, um, you need to order something, like going on a business trip, you have to have it this, by the end of the week for the weekend trip, then um, you might want to go something that's more name, name brand, like a ViewSonic. You know, you are going to pay more for it, but it might be something, you know, that you might have give that more weight or value to your purchase if it's a name brand. These are just, this U Perfect brand is um, just a China direct China shipment and probably low quality. I went, oh, I went ahead and um, when I purchased it on eBay, I did the square trade uh, warranty on it. So I never do warranties and this was one I thought, well, this one will cover me. It's only $17 and it covers me for, I think an additional two years because beware, this only has a 90 day warranty. So, and you have to contact them within the 90 days of the delivery date of the, for eBay anyway. And uh, I think they'll deal with you fairly, but just it will get cut off at 90 days. So, you know, you're down the road when this breaks, you don't want to be like shoving out another $170 because it's just not going to be worth it. I don't think it probably won't be fixable, but um, I'm not sure that that company can fix them. I think they just swap them out. Maybe they have a swap out um kind of warranty swap out pro program. Some companies do that where they um, will take your broken unit and quote repair it, but they don't really repair it. They just swap you out for a eight, flat $80 fee or something like that. Um, I'm not sure that this company does that. I'm not sure how they handle that, but that's 
something to think about to get the extended warranty and you know buying peace of mind i guess that's arguable but um that's what it is thanks for watching